Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would be showing you how can you change your voice in Wondershare Filmora and few other things that, few other options that are given to us in Wondershare Filmora that can be helpful for you, especially in the editing process because that is the next step once you're done with the video. Also, if you're new up here, I do post a lot of videos related to Wondershare Filmora and many other softwares that I play around with on a day to day basis. So consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up, you guys would be the first one to be getting notified about them. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive into my computer and see how it's done. So that's the interface of Wondershare Filmora. Now, in order to change the voice, what I'll do is I'll select a video that I want to change the voice for. For example, I want to play around with the voice functionality of this particular video, hold that video and drop it onto the timeline. Now you have two different options with you. Either you can change the voice of the complete video or you can change the voice of just a portion of the video. It all depends on you. For now, what I'll do is I'll change the voice for just a bit portion of my video. Let's say for this particular part, what I'll do is I'll play out the video first and show you how the normal video sounds like. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would be dis So this is how the normal video sounds like. Now, in order to make changes to your voice, what you need to do is double click on that particular video. A menu would appear up. Here you will have four different options, video, audio, color and animation. And as the name says, we need to click on audio. In here, first thing is the pitch. Now you can increase or decrease the pitch as in the thinness or the thickness of your voice by dragging this particular bar. Now, first, what we'll do is we'll drag it onto the right hand side because this will make my voice a bit thinner. Let's say I keep it at three. And now let's see how the voice sounds like. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In now, obviously, it sounds a lot funny because that's not the right pitch for me. But some people you might have to kind of based on your tonality of your voice, you might have to lower down or increase your pitch in some instances. So this is one thing. Otherwise, you can just reduce your pitch by going to the minus part. Let's say I go with minus two. And now let's see how the audio sounds like. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video. So this is how if you lower down the pitch, this is how it would sound like. So that's the very first thing that you can do. Another option is the equalizer option. Now, there, there are certain preset pre default ones that they have given. Now, whenever I edit my videos, I straight away select the acoustic in the equalizer function. And the reason is because of my tonality and my pitch of my voice, every person is different. So you have to just play around and see with all the options, whichever sounds the best with you on my other channel, which is M and plants. Since Mohit is doing those videos, whenever I edit those videos, I always select the equalizer as soft because of his tonality of the voice. So every person is different. So do the options as well. Otherwise, if you're not happy with either of the options which are given, you can just go with the custom one by clicking on customize. Here they will give you these few options where you can just play around again. Now what I have seen is the first few bars are for the base of your voice and the last, the right hand side few bars are the treble of your voice. So this is one thing you know now, so you can obviously increase or decrease and then keep on checking by playing your video again and again and see wherever you sound the best. That would be your best setting. Now, another feature that they've given is denoise, which is the remove background noise feature. Now, according to me, as far as I have tested it, I'm not satisfied with this particular feature. And the reason is, let me show you that if you click on remove background noise and let's say if I select to remove the background noise completely, this is how I would sound like. Back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would be discussing and showing you around. So it does the job a bit. I mean, it, it does remove the background noise to some extent, but it just reduces the pitchiness of your voice. So according to me, the voice doesn't sound good at all after you remove the background noise of it. So my recommendation in that case would be to invest in some sort of a cheap mic. Now, nowadays there's many, many options available out there. And currently I use Razer Siren Mini. That's a condenser mic and it costed me about 75 Australian dollars, which boils down to be 58 to 60 US dollars, which is not that expensive. Otherwise I have another mic, which is the Lavalier lap on mic, which is Boya BYM1. I'm very much satisfied with the quality of the sound. And that mic only costed me 25 Australian dollars. 
which is roughly about 18 us dollars so it's not these mics are not that expensive but trust me they will enhance the audio quality of your videos to a greater extent also if you're using these mics the background noise automatically goes down to a greater extent now especially if you're shooting your videos in the outside scenarios a lot let's say next to the beach or in the nature kind of scenarios where there's a lot of wind prefer using a lavalier lap on kind of mics the ones that clips onto your shirts or t-shirts and the reason is very simple that you can just since you're shooting your videos outside it becomes extremely easy for you to kind of plug it in and then just start shooting your videos whereas the condenser mics are best for the videos that i do since i'm sitting on a chair with a table in front of me i can use the lavalier lap on mics but prefer i prefer using the condenser mics because those are usb kind of mics you just plug and play that's it so these were the few things that i wanted to talk to you about in this today's video i hope you did like this video if you did do hit that like button also if you have any sort of questions feel free to post them in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to answer all of you with that i'm done with this video I hope you guys have a great day, stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video.